or ISSEF, is a grants program aimed at stimulating creative solutions to ICT development needs in the Asia-Pacific region. ISSEF programs use the internet as a tool to enhance social and economic development in their communities. ISSEF is a partnership between the International Development Research Centre, the Internet Society and the Asia-Pacific Network Information Centre. ISSEF has received generous support from the .Asia organisation. To date, ISSEF has allocated 670,000 Australian dollars to 23 recipients across the Asia Pacific. The recipients were chosen out of 396 applications from 32 economies. The projects that were selected showcased innovation, cooperation, and technical knowledge. These projects have the potential to create social change in their communities in areas such as communications infrastructure, disaster management systems, mobile health networks, and other vital social development tools. The projects reflect current technical discussion, including IPv6, wireless, and mobile technologies. The ultimate aim is to make communications cheaper and more accessible for isolated communities. The 2011 ISSEF Award recognised the important contributions to ICT innovation across four categories. Innovation on access provision, localisation and capacity building, mobile services and applications, and rights and freedoms. The award package included 7,500 Australian dollars to support the project's continuation and a travel grant for a representative to attend the Internet Governance Forum in Nairobi. The winner for innovation on access provision is Rotel and Fongtil from Australia and Timor-Leste. Dili is the largest city in Timor-Leste, one of Asia's poorest economies. Mobile and fixed phone services are available but they are too expensive for the average Timorese. The Village Telco system provides a free phone network and an affordable internet backbone in Dili. The system is built on a low-cost, simple Wi-Fi telephony device called a mesh potato. The mesh potato network provides a telephone landline to each end user. The devices are connected through a mesh Wi-Fi network. This eliminates the need for expensive infrastructure such as towers or physical landlines. The winner for localisation and capacity building is Internet Nui. Nui, located in the South Pacific, is one of the world's largest coral islands and is also among the world's smallest self-governing states. Thanks to Internet Nui, this tiny island nation became the world's first Wi-Fi nation, offering free wireless internet access throughout the island. Internet Nui has enabled some of the most isolated people on the planet to connect with and participate in the outside world. Connection fees to the Internet Nui network are around 25 New Zealand dollars and the ongoing service is free of charge to all users. The winner for mobile services and applications is Garwal Community Development and Welfare Society, India. GCDWS is an Indian non-government organisation that seeks to improve the health status of rural and indigenous populations through research, training and service delivery programs. India has many rural areas with poor access to proper health care. In these areas, the primary source of care is a local rural healthcare provider. 
who is not medically trained and typically has a second level education and typically has a secondary level education. They provide informal, non-standardised healthcare to millions of people across India. This project allows coordination and standardisation of healthcare by employing a simple mobile phone platform. Rural healthcare providers within this network can now access step-by-step -step procedures based on clinical guidelines. This enables them to detect common diseases such as fevers, respiratory conditions and malaria. The winner for Rights and Freedom is City from Cambodia. This online portal was launched in 2009 as an initiative of the Cambodia Centre for Human Rights. The CCHR is a politically independent NGO based in Phnom Penh. They work to promote and protect democracy and human rights throughout Cambodia. City means rights in Khmer. The purpose of CT.org is to encourage Cambodian human rights groups and civil society organisations to be more effective by providing information and resources on the portal website. This information informs others on the status of human rights conditions in Cambodia. In this way, CT.org increases general awareness within the global human rights community. Thank you.